able to mix and match pieces like this is actually one of the things that got me into Nerf, because, yeah, it's a scar, I don't have the right stock, the receiver's completely different, and I'm using the quote-unquote wrong magazine, but at the same time, this is the kind of thing, like, when I played Blacklight Retribution, you could take the submachine gun receiver and then add whatever barrel and whatever muzzle and whatever magazine and whatever optic and whatever stock you could possibly have wanted, and that's actually the customization that got me into Nerf. That was the game, and that was the reason that I really picked up this hobby for integrations and stuff like that, and I just realized... I'm basically there. You can basically do that now. And that's pretty crazy now that I think about it. Another day, another bag of stuff from WorkerKit.com. Thank you very much to them for setting this out to me to do a video on, and I, uh... I have a vague idea of what this is. This looks to be a cosmetic thing for the Strife STF Scar. I think we can kind of figure out where this is going right here. And it is from, of course, Worker F10 Triple Five right there. And uh, I don't really know how to do a video on this, to be completely honest. So uh, I'm just going to take it out and look at the stuff and tell you what I thought. Oh my gosh, that's actually like injection molded. Well, I was not expecting that. Is this actually part of the SCAR kit? Because this is a... Like a... Oh, that's a cool-looking muzzle. I wish I would have opened this earlier, because that is actually really cool. That would be near-perfect to put on the Ultima Strife if it would work with the Vector kit. Something I may want to try. It even comes with the little fill-in pieces I love. This is, like, my favorite piece in the world, by the way. I really hate that spot on the top of the Strife that has, like, where the loop and stuff goes. This fills that in. That's perfect! I was not expecting... There's a lot of random stuff in here. I mean, maybe it is just a cosmetic kit, but there's, like, uh... Well, these are definitely sights of some description. Well, it actually, like, flips up. Interesting. I'm already confused. I was expecting all this to be 3D printed, and here's the thing that isn't 3D printed. So is this, then, 3D printed? This is, again, stuff sent to me by Worker Kit, so there will links, be links down in the description below if you like this kind of thing and want to pick one up. That is actually a really cool-looking barrel, too. Their print quality is always so high. There's, like, a little bit of scratches and stuff on it. I don't know how well that comes off, but the actual print quality is perfect. I wish my printer would do that. And then we've got a crap ton of worker rails here. These are not 3D printed. These are, in fact, completely injection molded things. So we've got like a mixed medium here. We've got 3D printed, and then we've got normal plastic and stuff. So, huh. Well, for this, I'm going to need some kind of strife. So I'm going to look above me, and I'm going to perk. Uh, we'll just do this one since it's already kind of a thing. Here we are, the strife that I have right here. This is the uh, test bed strife for new motors and stuff like that that I get in. Really, really nice. So, I mean, probably not the best idea, but... Wait, how exactly does that... Oh, I'm really... Con oh, it goes... Oh, it goes way up in there! But how would this work with... Oh. Well, that answers some of my question. Well, that's really interesting. Huh. Alright, well, we're gonna need to get this thing apart. Maybe this is just normal for, like, the SCAR kits, but I've never, ever actually used one. Not that I don't like the SCAR, I just don't normally get these kinds of kits. I'm a big fan of the Vector kit, personally, because I like how it actually improves the ergonomics and whatnot. Uh, these kits are usually completely cosmetic and stuff, but this should be relatively easy to install, I would think. We do obviously have to take apart our strip, but we shouldn't have to do anything out of the ordinary. We're going to remove these little blue pieces. Another piece that I really, really like are the pieces that fill in the sides on the strife. Now, with this being all black, preferably we'd put it on a black strife, but since I don't have a black strife, this will be the next best thing. So, that also immediately as answers my question of what exactly was this kit for, and the answer is the strife, because this piece will only fit on the strife itself. 
So with this, we are going to remove that, replace it with this, and yep, that answers the other question. This would not work with the vector kit because there's no actual rail for it to lock on there. So that's no good. We will then put the strife back together and I'm actually really digging that. I wish this was compatible with the vector kit because I like this muzzle a lot. I know there's stuff that's supposed to bolt to it, but I think that just looks fantastic. It's short and simple and uh, to the point. Put screws back in. All right, that is in there. I do have some other questions on how this is going to work, but we're going to fit this piece right here, which is from the vector kit. I know that for a fact. We're gonna put that in there like that. So now we've got kind of a front end, but this, yep, goes all the way forward like that. Jeez, that is a lot of stuff added right there. That's why we have this big long barrel that we're gonna shove in there like that. Shove this on there. There we go. This is starting to resemble a thing already. So what we're left with here is some random bits and bobs. And I don't know if that's supposed to be just friction fit or if there's actually supposed to be a lock on there. Because there's like holes right there for something, but they don't seem to match up with... Oh, wait, holes right there. Okay, so are those like threaded screw holes? They don't look like it. They look like a stock. Maybe you can thread screws into them. Then we've got rails, and it looks like these rails go... Um, maybe. Hmm, there's a lot of rails here, but I'm not, not seeing exactly... It doesn't match up with any of the holes on the actual thing. Well, these ones definitely go on the sides. That's pretty easy to figure out. We've got set screws for that. Oh, Ron, they did not give us a uh, wrench with this one. I'm gonna have to come up with my own wrench because these are, of course, hex-headed. Slightly aggravating, but... Yeah, what, what do these rails do? These just go on the top of the blaster, I'm assuming, but... Like, because they do have... Well, this one does, anyway. Is that just supposed to slide on... Oh, there's a screw in there. Back here? Like, because that can't cover anything. And that's the only rail we get. Okay. I mean, I guess I would just go like that. That just looks awkward, though. So this rail is three screw and that is three okay so this one does go down there like so and it has a screw in it so I'm just going to assume this is the screw that goes in there and it seemed to work fine to me but how many of those screws do I have okay so these are basically the same screws as the set screws but th with threaded heads on them I get it so I'm kind of uncertain how I lock that in place. Unless I use these screws right here, but that was a very similar type of screw already. But these are the only other screws that came with it, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, well, that made things a little more complicated, but that did in fact thread in there. Now we have to do it the actual way. Sigh. Can't be lazy all the time. Yeah, that does thread in there. What I'm supposed to peer through. That being said, oh, there we go. That just doesn't seem right to me. I'm not quite sure. And the side rails. It's a scar. It's got to have lots of rails on it. That's pretty much mandatory. And screw that in. So there's all the rails, but really important is going to be the front sight, which is, uh, huh. Oh, yep, it's going to go all the way back on this. Uh, like that. So, all we're kind of missing at this point is some kind of effective muzzle, but that is that. I guess we need some kind of uh, 
stock too, so we'll just be sacrilegious and put that M4 style stock on there. Although I'm sure that's something that many people would actually want to do. I don't have the scar stock, unfortunately. That is a really cool kit. I wasn't expecting to like this at all, but I like how squared off that is. I wish it would go... There's a slight bit of a gap. I want, I, no, I can't really fix that at this point, can I? Yep. But that's actually pretty good right there. So I do need some kind of magazine to go with this, though. Worker Kit also sent these along. This is, of course, the uh, ever-lovable Worker P-Mag style kind of mag. And it shows full length on the side, which is kind of different, but it's a half length one. And uh, I can't find my hammerhead kit at the moment. So it did come with worker darts as well. But of course I can't actually use that in here, but I can, however, complete the look. I really need some kind of muzzle on the front of this. I'm not sure. Uh, give me a second. Here we go. We'll just borrow this one. Oh, that's a... Not a very tight fit at all. Oh well. Just put it on like that. And we are good to go. That's that's a massive strife. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of rifles, but it does look rather good. I don't I wonder if I could have fixed that gap right there. That kind of bothers me. But the rest of it, and the fact that it didn't come with pieces to fill this in. I think that would have been important as well. Maybe somebody likes that. I personally don't. I don't really have a uh, proper thing for this, so I'll just put that on there. It's a hodgepodge of colors anyway. Now again, if I did have, if I could find my kit, I actually have uh, Quincy up here. It doesn't have the kit in it, but you can notice the very long pusher right here. This works with another kit, which I've misplaced at the moment, but this would allow me to shoot the short worker darts out of a blaster like this for basically you get a little le less performance but I mean if you have those kinds of magazines that would work but shouldering this thing especially looking down the sights that's very very iconic to the scar and I like how everything kind of fits together and again the 3d printing quality is immaculate so can't really fault it there it is cool that I, I actually I hate to say it I liked just the little insert piece right there but that looks like it's specific to this blaster it doesn't rotate or anything like that that's just to give it some rigidity uh, I'm just not a fan of the big long rifles because this indeed would limit your performance quite considerably just as much as if you were to have like the FAMAS kit or the TAR-21 kit, same performance loss because it's still a massive barrel on it. But it does freaking look cool and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that like this. It is indeed a scar. Let me know if you found this video useful at all and or liked it down in the comment section below. And if there's another kind of one of these kits you want to see me put on, let uh, Worker Kit know down in the comment section because, uh, I mean, then I can ask for it and possibly get it. I'm actually kind of digging this. I just wish I had the actual scar stock, but of course I don't. That's the big thick boy on the end of it, which I don't have. But I happen to like this uh, M4 buffer tube style stock. So, man, that is that is a really actually comfortable blaster. Needs some kind of foregrip, I guess. I need to. I know I have another vertical foregrip or angled foregrip somewhere, but I don't know off the top of my head where to put it. But anyway, I'm rambling at this point. This has been Ball Comps Hands. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You got.